Some people are just snow-offs, and we love these people. That's why we've been picking our way through the coolest footage we could find to showcase these ice-cold daredevils, giving them the credit they deserve. So join us at this powder party where you can bask in the glory of the slopes, crash out in the coldest climates, and chill in the iciest caves. Just like the brave people who captured these moments, freezing them in time. This is Life on the Edge. On the way in part one, what comes up must come down. First though, a climber ridging for the stars. This is the work of Michelle Pecotz, an Italian adventurer who works in the Alps and knows the mountains in all their steep and dangerous glory. You can now join him on one of his summits as he wore a 360 camera up the Monte Rosa Massif. Warning, it may make you dizzy. the fantasy landscape of a frozen waterfall and another intrepid climber. This is Gittis Borowskis climbing what looks like a Disney film set, but it's actually a stunning frozen waterfall in Norway. Ice climbing is never easy for obvious reasons, so you'll be glad to know that you can experience the cool ascent from the safety of home, all through Gittis' POV camera. Next, as promised, what comes up must come down. And these guys are taking the quickest route to ground zero. Base jumping off the summit of the highest mountain in Britain, Scotland's Ben Nevis, are Tim Howell, David Gallagher, and their friend Josh. And you can see the Scottish Highlands through their eyes in this incredible point of view video.
Still to come, the cool kid with more skis than years to his name. Welcome back. Now, very few adults can ski as well as little Henry Van Winkle of Ontario, Canada. With some toddlers not even able to walk when they turn one, it's astonishing to think 14-month-old Henry can hit the white stuff like this. well-earned high five from a very proud dad. Next, flipping and skipping over icy obstacles and landing in the snow is acrobatics legend Rusa Royaboff. Braving temperatures as low as minus 35 degrees Celsius, Rusa is prepared to go that little bit higher to perform his mind-blowing stunts in Kemerovo, Russia. Falling into the white stuff is all very well if it's intentional, but what if you find yourself caught in an avalanche? That's what happened to these guys. Felix Eamon and Mario Grinchgal were snowboarding off-piste in Austria when Mario fell over. The bump in the snow caused a small avalanche and dragged him down the slope. The whole thing was caught on camera. Fortunately, neither were hurt. Avalanches can be much more serious than that though. A Spanish film crew led by Paco Roses were on location in the Karakoram mountain range in Pakistan when this happened. The cameras kept rolling as the crew desperately sought cover. Warning, this is genuinely terrifying.
Fis, gut, Afis. Was ist das? In Afis. Wo ist Afis? Okay, okay. Now, you're looking through the eyes of Will Brooks, this time in the French Alps. As he uses his board to climb the Rock Malay, a loose section of snow seems to fall. The results are heart-stopping. Oh, wow. I think we can all agree Will's a very lucky man. Still to come, you've been frayed, literally. <laughs> Welcome back, we respect the brave on Life on the Edge, but there's a fine line between brave and... <laughs> Sampo Valaton is a pro skier and was honing his skills on the slopes in Switzerland when things didn't go according to plan. While it came crashing down for Sampo, it also did for Chris Bray in Alaska in a kind of awe-inspiring way. Chris Bray was observing the Chenega Glacier when this happened. He was only planning on taking some still photographs, but when it started creaking, he knew it was an epic video in the making. When it comes to crashing, there aren't many bits of bad luck as toe curling as this. This happened when professional daredevil Sergei Korovin decided to attempt a snowmobile backflip off a makeshift ramp in Yaroslavl, Russia. While he's completed jumps like this before, on this occasion, he fell out of his seat because he was moving too slowly. He was hurt, who wouldn't be, but he made a full recovery. Next, more flipping bad luck. This is the work of another brave daredevil, Jake Strassman. He was trying to skim across a pond in Colorado, but ended up face planting into the powder. Fortunately for him, he wasn't hurt, and fortunately for us, someone was filming. It's not the first time Jake has engaged in this kind of activity. You'll enjoy this. Now, if we've reeled you in with the fail videos, we apologize, because this guy is yeah. just baiting the cameras. 
Get one. Yes, this oh, is by no means a fail. In Woo! fact, fishing while skiing <laughs> is a pretty big achievement, especially if you pull it off while your friends are filming. That's what Arlen McCulloch did at Bloomington Lake yeah. in Idaho. Get one. Oh, you almost got it, Brad. Amazingly, it's actually the height of summer, but the snow's still there because they're nearly 6,000 feet up. When you're this off-piste and travelling this fast, you have to be a pro. This is the work of free skier Roman Rormosa from Austria, skiing in the Alps with a camera tied to his head. And let's be honest, it's awesome. Still to come on Life on the Edge, a caving classic. Welcome back, we've done the brilliant, we've done the brave, now we're doing the beautiful. Stefan Staub and his explorer friends might look like they're on another planet, but they're actually inside the Roseg Glacier in Switzerland. Along with Ronald Wagner and Fabio Schock, the group were lucky enough to explore the ethereal ice cave, and you can enjoy what they enjoyed through Stefan's camera. Next, we're back above ground. In fact, we're above the clouds at sunset. There are very few views as pleasant as this one, captured by student Nicholas Loken as he boarded down the slopes of Trissil in Norway. Truly stunning. Next, this is what a snowstorm looks like when it tears across a city. When Ted Hodgkins was alerted to an incoming cloud of snow in Philadelphia, he grabbed his camera and started rolling from the 47th floor of a skyscraper. This is the apocalyptic result taken over 15 minutes.
Finally, just after the year's first snowfall, climber Stefan Jungen found himself on one of Switzerland's most famous ridges, Schild Krotengrat. That's Turtle Ridge in English. Standing on the head of the turtle, Stefan captured this awe-inspiring footage, a fine way to end this episode of Life on the Edge. Coming up next time, we're ollieing into the internet skate park, scraping the world of online video to find the best and worst half-pipe wannabes. All for your viewing pleasure and pain. That's next time on Life on the Edge.